Hey everyone, Nick DeRobertis here teaching you financial modeling. Today we're going to be talking about some additional Python basics focusing on using Python dictionaries. This is part of our lecture series on exploring the parameter space. And this is covered during this lecture series because we're going to need to use dictionaries to complete sensitivity analysis in Python. So we, um, like I just said, we just need to cover a little bit of extra Python basics before we can get into doing sensitivity analysis in Python. So let's look first at dictionaries and then the other topics we're going to look at in the follow on videos uh, within this extra basic segment are about list comprehensions and uh, the Python imports and installing packages. But we're focusing in this video on dictionaries and we covered dictionaries before. So um, if you forgot that or didn't see that video, go back and look at the original video on dictionaries to get a quick introduction within the Python basics segment. But here we're going to dig more into using them. So, but we'll give just a quick recap on what a dictionary is. And it's a basic Python data type, just like a list, uh, numbers, floats, integers, uh, strings, all the basic data types, booleans, etc. Dictionary is one of the basics. Um, and like a list, it holds other objects within it. And a list, you know, is an ordered, you would just hold things in order. For a dictionary, it's key value pairs. So it's you're storing your object under some key where you want to be able to look up the object by that key at a later time. So here's an example of defining a dictionary, looking up um, values from the dictionary, and looping through the dictionary. So the looping, looping through the dictionary is totally new for us. So here first I'm defining the dictionary and whenever you define a dictionary, you're using the curly braces to do that. That's the easy built-in way. And you're going to have then the keys, a key and then a colon and then the value and then a comma and then coming to the next key, colon, value, comma, and so on. And so the example here is a dictionary of what level my coffee is at and how I'm feeling in relation to that. So um, when I, my coffee is at a high level, I'm happy. If it's pretty high, I'm still happy. As it starts to drop to medium, then feeling neutral. If it's low, then I'm getting sad. I want more coffee. If there's no coffee, then I really got to get some more. And so I'm desperate. And so in that dictionary, you put its name and then you put brackets and you put a key. Here we're putting the pretty high key. And so we're going to get the happy value as a result. So that's how you can look up any item in the dictionary. You look it up by its key. So what's new for us is then looping through the dictionary. And there are three different ways to loop through a dictionary, which is part of why we didn't cover that yet, because it's a little more complicated than looping through lists. Um, the three ways you can loop through it are you can loop through the keys, you can loop through the values, or you can loop through both the keys and values at once. And if you just want one way to do things, you say, why do we have three ways? Can we just always do one way to, to loop through dictionaries? I would say just always do uh, looping through both keys and values at once through calling dot items on the dictionary. Because uh, that way you have access to both. You don't necessarily have to use both. Um, and that's why if you just want one way to do things, then just always do it with items. It'll get you both the key and the value at the same time in the loop. So the way that you do that uh, with uh, dot items, 
So we have our familiar for loop here, for something and something, colon, indent. Um, but here we're putting the dictionary's name, but we're not just looping through the dictionary. We're loop looping through dot items of the dictionary. And that's what allows us to loop through both the key and the value at the same time. And then over here, we have not just a single value that we're looping through, we're looping through two values at once, the key and the value. Um, and so um, you, whatever you put first is in reference to the key, and whatever you put after the comma, you put it second, that's in reference to the value. So that's why uh, here the coffee levels are the keys and the emotions are the values, and so that's why it's or coffee level comma emotion because this is the key and this is the value and this is picking good names for each of those that correspond to what they actually are and then here i'm just printing out a sentence which explains how i'm feeling in relation to my coffee level so what i just said before when i got a lot of coffee i'm happy uh when it's out then i am not feeling great that's a basic example. And uh, now we can look at how we can add and delete items from dictionaries after it has already been created. So we have this coffee levels emotions dictionaries. Um, and there's two ways that we can add items. One is we can take an entirely separate dictionary and bring all of it, all of its items into this dictionary. That's through the update method. So you call dot update on the dictionary and you pass it another dictionary and that's going to take that second dictionary's items and bring them into the first so after the first now if the coffee is overflowing then i'm feeling burned and now that has come into the dictionary as well and then we can assign a single key value pair at once by uh basically doing what we would to look up a value by the key, but then just putting equals and assigning the value. So here I'm assigning the negative key to have the value of confused. And so if there's a negative amount of coffee in my cup, then I am confused because I don't know how that's possible. So then um, we can remove items from the dictionary as well, and we do that through the dot pop method. So the dot pop, you give it the key, and then as a result, it will give you the value. Um, you may or may not care what that value is. Sometimes you just call this and don't even assign it to anything. Uh, you, just this would be your line of code. If you really don't care about the value, you just want to get this thing out of the dictionary. Um, but you can also save the value coming out of pop as well. Um, so that's the quick overview on how to add and delete items from dictionaries. Let's go ahead and look at the Jupyter Notebook example. So you see this actually happening in the code. So here I'm just defining a dictionary again with curly braces um, and with the key value pairs, um, key then colon then value. And I like to write these on multiple lines, uh, but you can do it on a single line as well. It's the same thing. Uh, once you're inside those curly braces, then you can have as many uh, extra lines as you want. You could do this if you felt like it. Um, it's only when you're outside of curly braces or parentheses or anything like that, you can't just arbitrarily make lines. Um, and so I mentioned we have three different ways to loop through the dictionary, through the keys, through the values, and through both at once. And that's coming out of these keys, values, and items, which gives you both at once. So A and B were our keys. One and two are our values, and having those associated together is the items. And so with dictionaries, we can look up any value by its key. So A and B are the keys, one and two are the values, 
And so we can look up one and two by A and B, because that's the way we've set up the dictionary. And then we can add a single item at once by basically doing the same way we would look up a key, but then assigning afterwards. Um, and so here we've now added C, the, the key C mapped to the value 10 into this dictionary. And with the update method, we can give it an entire second dictionary at once. Here we're going to add the D and E items into the dictionary. And now we've got A, B, C, D, and E all in my dictionary. And then um, you can also remove with pop. And so here we're going to remove this A1 item out of the dictionary. And the A value is going to be the 1. So that's what this um, print statement is showing you, that um, we got the one out as a result of the pop, and now that A associated the one is no longer in the dictionary. Um, so um, you don't necessarily need to do that assignment. Um, here we're just gonna take B, the B key associated to the two value out of the dictionary without assigning or anything. And now we're left with just C, D, and E. So looking at looping through dictionaries, um, what you would probably try to do in the first case is just to loop right through the dictionary without calling any method on it. And what that does by default is it actually loops through just the keys. So if you're trying to get at the values, you're not going to get them directly that way. Um, so this is basically implicitly doing the same thing as calling dot keys on the end of this. But we saw we had not just dot keys, we also had dot values and dot items. And so when you uh, go through dot values, then it's going to go and print each one of the values. And just to remind you what's in this dictionary, 10, 5, 10, those are the three values in the dictionary. And here with dot items, then we can loop through both at once. There, you do need to put this comma. Whatever comes before the comma is going to be the variable that represents the key. Whatever comes after is the variable that represents the value. And so we can use both of them at once in the loop. So here we're saying both what the key is and what the value is in our sentence. Um, and just to give you a little more context into what's going on in the background there, um, if you look at what, uh, my dicks dot items is, um, what we actually have in here is a list of tuples basically. Um, and so what's actually coming, if you loop here, you're actually getting for items, you're actually getting a tuple um as that value and a nice thing you can do in python is you can uh, spread out a tuple if tuple has two items you can split it into two variables and that's exactly what we're doing here so we're taking this tuple of the key and the value and we're splitting it into separate variables by using this nice little shortcut um so that's just a little background to understand where this syntax comes from but you don't need, really need to worry about this. Just do this. You can just copy this and work from this uh, whenever you want to loop through a dictionary. So that's the uh, more, more advanced than we touched to on originally usage of dictionaries, still basic, but uh, now kind of the full basics of dictionaries. And we're going to come back next time to talk about list comprehensions in Python. So thanks for listening and see you next time.